Hello and welcome to this video. What I thought I'd do is I thought I'd spend a bit of time looking at my new toy which is this camera that we're looking at that I'm using now. Um, for all my videos up until now I've been using one of these which uh, is, well, that is probably about 10 years. It's called a flip. Um, fantastic little camera. Um, does everything in 7, 720p what it does is it's got a hard drive actually built into the camera and then when you're ready to actually transfer it's got a little USB and plug that into laptop or computer uh, and just copy the files over. It has got some proprietary software um, which I don't tend to use. Um, I, think the company's, I think the company's gone bust now actually. Um, I don't, rem I don't remember it being particularly expensive. I think you can pick them up on eBay for about 50 quid now. Um, really good little cam camera. The very portable, uh, battery lasts for a long time. You can put a replacement battery in, uh, which looks like, like that. Um, the downside to them is that you can't see what you're filming, in the sense that if you're in front of the camera, you've no way of turning it around and actually being able to look at it that way. So you have to sort of guess. So what I've done now is if I do, I'm going to put the I'm going to put this on and record a bit. If we now look at this is the camera that I bought for the job. Uh, and I thought I'd do a bit of a review on it really. It's a cheap Chinese camera. Uh, it cost a hundred and 18 pounds UK and it comes with the built-in microphone and everything now the if I just this is what it says on the side of the thing so it doesn't ha it's not a branded camera at all it just says FH ID high definition 1920 by 1080p um, I'm filming everything in 720p uh, and it's 24 megapixels. Um, what else does it say? I can't quite see. It's 16 times, 16 times the digital zoom, um, and it's got a touch screen. So we look around the other side of the camera. Let's give it something to have a look at. So we've got a digital screen here uh, which seems to work quite quite well there's no there's nothing I can't really complain about that I've got no complaints about that um, and we've got some mode buttons here we can do single single shot photography with it um, and we can use these buttons to up and down the uh, the menu uh, and we've got a main power button we have a digital zoom on the top And there's a second button here which will uh, take a snapshot. Um, behind this flap, and this flap's slightly irritating, we have got the microphone for the external uh, mic. It's rather irritating that this doesn't come off. I mean, you could pull it off, but it would break it. Um, there's also a USB socket in there for charging and a HD socket which I haven't tried yet. The USB for charging just seems to just charge it. It doesn't seem to connect it to a, um, a computer so that you can transfer the files. Um, I'll take it off the, the stand in a minute and, and we'll have a look at where the, the card is. Uh, we've got a main video button there um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so it's sort of unbranded. Um, but seems to seems, certainly seems to do the job quite well. Um, my only couple of couple of little niggles. One is that, as I've explained. The other is that I have to take the SD card out to actually um, be able to then transfer the video to a computer, and I'll do that now. So if I just take this. 
So if I just pop this out, this is where the battery, this is holds, holds the battery. We've got the, the battery sat in there. Um, as yes, I'm unsure as to how long the battery actually lasts. Um, I've been playing around with it, but I'm using it for probably about 10 or 15 minutes so far, but not, not a lot. So I have to pop that out, take the SD card, put it into a computer, which is a slight niggle. It would be nice if I was able to transfer the files via the USB in the actual camera. The camera itself does, does apart from, if I take this off, um, the camera itself does have built-in built -in microphone and if I just, I'm gonna switch it on now and so you can actually hear, we've got a welcome screen. Still seems to be booting up, I think, but it won't allow me to. Won't allow me to go into. I have actually got a flashing light here as well, which might be the reason why. Let's see what. Let's see what that says. It just says it's busy. At the moment, it says it's busy. Oh, so now it's, it's actually just now started recording. I've just noticed that. So, the um, that's sort of interesting because that didn't quite that didn't quite work how I was expecting it to work. Um, and now it has stopped recording. That's a bit weird. So let's try again. We're going to record. And I don't seem to be recording. So it looks like there might be a slight issue with. Let's try the. It does also come with a little remote control, so let's try that then. Now it's going into record. So I'm not sure if that's a fault or whether it's just. Um, Slight problem uh, whether that is a fault or it's just a, me getting used to it but the pushing that button on the back there didn't seem to always work we'll try some of the different um, let's try some of the different frame rates if we can so it won't let me while I'm right okay so I can't change any of the settings while the camera's recording so if I just stop the recording that's very interesting. That button is not working at all now. Um, right, so if I press the remote, what happens then? Right, right, now it stops. So the remote works, but the button on the back of the camera doesn't seem to be working very well. Um, if this becomes a problem, then this camera is going to have to go back um, and be replaced, I think. So let's just change the movie quality uh, that one so we've got fine and super fine uh, we've got movie resolution let's go for 1080 where do we go there movie resolution right we've changed it to 1080 now go back to so it now tells us that we're on 1080p so we'll I'm going to record. No, nope, that button is not working. So here's the remote control. We're now recording in 1080p. So we're now recording with the camera just so that you can hear what uh, the actual built in microphone is like. I've noticed another little anomaly with the use of microphones uh, and it works fine with this microphone that obviously comes with the camera um, but I've got access to a couple of other little things I've got access to uh, several lapel mics and I've also got access to a Sennheiser shotgun mic now in theory all of these should work but um, 
That is a mono mic, as is my little lapel mics, and they do not work because it seems to be, although this is a mono mic, this is not, this is not a stereo mic, it seems to have a stereo socket on it, uh, which causes a bit of a problem because so these things just do not work.